Hi everybody and welcome to the Science News Network. My name's Taylor V and I'll be your host this morning. And today we are talking about Newton's three laws of motion. Give it up for science. It's not just my obsession, it's more than a reliance. We owe an awful lot to a little thing called science. Give it up for science. Geology rocks, tectonics, and sediments. Chemistry formulates with all of the elements. Engineering builds the world that we need. Technology's devices help us succeed. Give it up for science. Astronomy looks to the cosmos and galaxy. Physics knows matter, motion, and gravity. Turning into this broadcast of Science News Weekly. Now let's get into the important topics. To fully understand all the events that are happening in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, we first must understand all of Newton's laws of motion. The first law states that an object at rest remains at rest, and an object in mo motion maintains its velocity unless it experiences a net force. The second law states force equals mass times acceleration. The third law states for every action force there is an equal and opposite reaction force. Yesterday there was an incident in Sioux Falls, South Dakota where a drunk driver driving a Ferrari hit a concrete barrier that was going to be the new Starbucks in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Anthony has more on this story and is going to explain to you how this relates to Newton's first law of motion. Hello, my name is Anthony Anderson, and what I have for you today is a diagram of what happened yesterday. As you can see, the car is moving at the brick wall, and as it hits the brick wall, it gets acted upon and has to stop, which then causes the person to flip out. As a suggestion, Ferrari, just start putting roofs on your car. That's pretty interesting, Anthony. Now, this second case didn't actually occur in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, but occurred in T, South Dakota. It has been rumored that there is a crazy driver driving through the streets of a small neighborhood in T, South Dakota. He's driving a Ford Taurus and seems to be accelerating at speeds that are annoying the neighbors. Now, Anthony is down at the area and is trying to get a width of what's going on there. Back to you, Anthony. Hey, Taylor. I just heard that there is some crazy driver around here. It could be any second before he comes back here. I think I see him coming. Hold on. This could be him, guys. Oh, my gosh. Tim. Tim. Suck. You got it all on camera, folks. Now, here's our next story. It relates to Newton's second law as well which states force equals mass times acceleration. Now in a local Iowa Walmart, it was caught that a man was pushing a hippopotamus around in a grocery cart. It was also told that Walmart security tried chasing after him, but it couldn't catch up with him. Now this must show you something about how slow Iowans are and just, it really amazes me that a man pushing a hippopotamus can outrun security. And it also shows you this true statement. Iowans are truly idiots out wandering around pushing hippos. <laughs> Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Taylor. Since we couldn't get the actual footage, this is the best we could come up with. As you can see, this hippo has a lot of mass, and at the man's rate of acceleration, it's going to take a lot of force to move that hippo. Just as a recommendation, Walmart, don't ever allow hippos in your stores. Since Newton's second law, it says force equals mass times acceleration. This diagram shows that since this little rock has a lot less mass and has a much faster acceleration, it takes a lot less force to move it. While that big rock has a lot more mass and a lot less acceleration, that it would take a lot more force to move it. Back to you, Taylor. Thank you, Anthony. Now, our next story is kind of a disgusting one, but it describes Newton's third law very well. Newton's third law states, for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. Now, a man in local Madison, South Dakota, ended up walking across some two-by-fours, and as he was walking across them, broke the wood. He fell into a sewage tank, and now reporters have this story. Anthony, would you please describe how this relates to Newton's third law? Although we do not have an accurate description of this picture, the forces that the man put down on the boards were not equal to the forces the boards were putting back up. 
therefore causing the man to fall into the sewage, just like this little boy is about to. Unlike the man in the sewage, this is an accurate description of Newton's third law. As you can see, Shiloh is pushing down on the floor, and the floor is pushing back up on Shiloh equally. So that way Shiloh does not break through the floor. Back to you, Taylor. That's all for Science News Weekly today. Thanks for watching, and please tune in next time. Give it up for science. It's not just my obsession, it's more than a reliance. We owe an